Hello everyone, I'm Robert Icy. Most of you will know me, but for you that don't, I'm the UK's number one unconscious mind therapist. And welcome to the Mind Clap Podcast. Hello everyone, welcome to the Mind Clap Podcast. And I'm joined today by the wonderful Lauren Goodyear. So, thanks for joining us today, Lauren. That's really okay. appreciate your time. Um, so you got into fame in 2010. Yes. Yeah, and how was how did that how did that come about? How did it you know how did you manage to how did how we work out? How did how did that all come about? Right. So basically, um, lived in Essex, uh, went to school in Essex, and everybody talks about Essex, kind of the area how we live, what we're like. And there was a group of producers that wanted to make a documentary on the show, and they basically walked the streets of Essex for about eight months, oh, wow. going to all the clubs. Bars, cafes, oh, do you know, do you know, do you know? And there was, our names kept popping up. Oh, these, these are quite popular in the area, blah, blah, blah. And then um, that was that. I got a few phone calls. Didn't really understand it, really. I got a few phone calls from, like, producers and that saying, oh, we want to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. <clears throat> and then I was like, okay, really strange. I worked in the city at the time. I'd not, obviously, long left school and stuff. Went straight over to the city um, and... What happened? Oh, yeah, I went to an event called Essex Polo. Do you remember yeah. that? No, no, I don't remember. Yeah, so I was like, obviously, there's a Cartier Polo, but oh, then this okay, is the Essex, Essex Verge, okay, version, yeah. yeah. And I remember walking in with all my friends, I'll never forget it, and I had this pink little short dress on, and um, this lady was like, can we talk to you? Like, can we put, like, pulled me out of my friends, can we, have a, can we have a chat with you? And I was like, yeah, and I was like, what's your name? So it took me literally away from the event, sat me down on the table, like, I had cameras around, a little bit like this. <laughs> and I was like, what's your name? I was like, Lauren. I was like, Lauren Hill. I was like, Lauren Goodger. I was like, oh my God, you're the girl that we've wanted to meet. We've heard a lot about you. We've met your partner. And I was like, oh no, I'm not with him no more. And I was like, that's brilliant. Like, you know, we've heard a lot about it all and everything. We really want to bring you in for an interview. So it was really strange. And then we didn't really understand what was going on. But then we kind of, the production company made a pilot with us. So it wasn't even commissioned with ITV yet. So we oh, was okay. literally the original. Yeah, we started it. And there was a lot of people in here that didn't make it to the final. And then they picked, I think, about eight of us. And the, we was the main cast. And then it kind of went crazy. Just from there, like, well, yeah. ever since. And there was no other reality show in the UK. No. So. And how was that at the time? Was it stressful or was it fun at the beginning? Um, it was all right. Because obviously I was young and I left my job. Didn't really understand. We didn't get paid for, like, two series. Um, no, so it was like obviously other things that we did um, through that. I think I've got a column in the sun, um, other things I was doing like photo shoots, clothing stuff at the beginning. And then I made, I actually made a fake tanning brand before I got an agent with um, someone that I knew. And um, we just started doing all business stuff and it just went just mad. Yeah. And um, <laughs> good times though, yeah? <laughs> yeah. But when sort of <laughs> so like everyone like everyone looks at like reality stars and um you know, <clears throat> it's, they look at a nice life the glam you know all, you know all the all the um treats and things you get all, mm. the, all the add-ons and the nice lifestyle yeah but they don't really see all the stress that comes along with it as well mm. you know like the newspapers the you know the bad press when yeah. someone's got it in for you or you know not being able to walk down the street with you know mm. people getting jealous how did, how did when did that kick in when did the other side of it so you must have felt all good at the beginning i'm guessing yeah and did, did you notice when did you notice the other the darker side to it? well i feel like because obviously we went into tv everybody was a bit obsessed with the show obsessed with us yeah. it was like so entertaining it wasn't a big brother it was an actual it was a soap reality yeah um so everyone was like the press was very obsessed. I remember my first time getting packed and I was like, this is absolutely madness. I was in London, but I'd been around that growing up anyway because of my area, a lot of footballers and models and that was the industry, that's the area I've kind of grown up in. So it wasn't like a shock to me, but it was just strange how everyone knew my name now. And it was a bit like, they would want to put the negative stuff and like obviously the show back then, the things that they would show wasn't the whole story. Like it would kind of get edited down to a certain scene or, storyline and then the press and everyone will talk about it and, and they don't talk about you i'm not an actress where i'm in a soap so it, yeah. just, it, it affected me personally because i am lauren it's, it's real yeah, yeah. it's real you're but not a character. exactly yeah. i'm yeah. not a character um so it was difficult but you just have to be really thick skin with it and i kind of knew what i was getting into um and i just kind of grow i just grew a thicker skin it was weird how i just 
adapted. taught myself, adapted to that lifestyle. I suppose there's no choice, really. I suppose it's just... You yeah, just gotta... I just went with it. And there was times I was like, I quit, I've done, I'm done with this. I can't yeah. take it because it was still quite raw, like, to real scenes that was really happening. Because, you know, a lot of these reality stars, you know, a lot of them, you know, it's, it's a sad, but it's a shame, but a lot of them, you know, committing suicide and things through the... They don't, they don't realise mm. the, the depth of what they're getting into. They think it's all, I say, a lot of these young... The young lot coming through, look at it as it's all going to be glam, 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 and you know, tweets. But I don't realise they're going to get slated. They're going to, yeah. their, their breakups are going to go in the paper. Hundred you know, percent different now. Yeah, I think back then you didn't really speak about mental health. It wasn't a thing, thing and, yeah, at all. About. Um, and I feel like because we were so innocent and new to this world, we didn't go in there with a game plan. Like, I'm going to go and love Ireland. I'm going to get money. I'm going to be famous. It, we were innocent. Didn't know what was, yeah, we were genuine. Took took exactly. Yeah. Like we didn't try to. Obviously, we wanted to do well. We got the lifestyle out of it, but it wasn't like just for that reason. And it it, it was our job. We was in a TV show. I'd done it for just over two years, and that was I filmed every day nearly. So. Um, I think you just kind of, it's that you didn't really get any support back then, you know? So it was like getting through the thick times I got through has made me a better and stronger person yeah. and more humble in a weird way. Yeah. Um, but it's Understand like, that. yeah, but in, in the new ones and people that come on, they just don't get it. And I seem to get it more harder than anyone else. Yeah. Uh, so if, no, if I don't know why, just... so I've got sand on my lip. <laughs> I mean, they pep you everywhere, don't they? I mean, you, yeah. you, you know, everywhere. Everywhere you <laughs> go, like, like, yeah. <laughs> When it comes to the practice, I'm like, why away. is there a pub outside your practice? <laughs> yeah, remember that one? Yeah. I You're like, I don't know. I was like, have you put it? They're like, you posted it. I went, but they're there like that. Like, I've even got my hair done. Like, the areas they drive to, I've been followed to London. I've had them outside my door at four o'clock in the morning. Like, they're not my nice either. Some of them I remember. Before mm. they, they could be really nasty. Yeah, they are. Them, can't they? They yeah, can, you know they're just. They not... try and twist it. They, they used to give false stories. The amount of crap that I went through. It's like my agent would ring and go, um, "What happened last night? Like you drink driving?" I was like, "No, what are you talking about?" It was like, "Well, they've they've patched you." I said, "Yeah, but I didn't drink that night. I went to a restaurant. I've got it in my car, and they've actually run the restaurant to find out what was Fuck on my you. bill." Like, joking. That, that heavy, like where they're trying Remember to out me all the time. When you come out of the restaurant that time and they took a picture about half four in the afternoon and then they, yeah. the next day, they got, yeah. a, they got no, no, no speed cameras, they got your face all walking. Yeah, they like one eye shut. Yeah, a lot of bitches <laughs> drunk. Like, come no. Out, come, it was like at four o'clock. Yeah, no. It was just dark. Yeah, I know, dark, exactly. Like, and I hadn't, madness. so it was difficult. So as much as... So how does that, how do you, do you cope with that pretty well now? You're used to it, I suppose. It doesn't make it all right. And obviously I'm no, still definitely. human and I'm a girl. But it's like at the same time, it's like it doesn't make it okay that because I deal with it yeah, and it I get over it, it right. no, it's not like acceptable. No. But I don't. I try not to. What I've learned over the years, I used to kind of put things up and say, "You're making me look like this. You're making me look like that." And yeah. they they love that. They want that. So Any I just say nothing. Yeah, you're better off. Yeah. And just leave it because I'm making it into. That is what now they're going to try and do with me. It is a storyline and it's pantomime. Because as you said, you you got into this and you didn't know what was going on, so you sort of like created as you went mm. went along. But this new generation, <clears throat> a lot of people do know what's what's going to come. Yeah, they still don't they don't cope with it. Some, even though they know, they still no, some no. people just can't cope, can they? I think everyone just wants to be famous, but I don't understand why. This is my job. It comes to me. I didn't try and do this. Um, as much as yeah, like it is a good thing, and I'm grateful. Yeah. It, there's a lot to take with it, and it ain't yeah. what you think. Yeah, so. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, <laughs> be careful what you wish for. It's true, isn't it? Be careful what you yeah. wish for. I mean, you know, all the suicides that's been got yeah, the last course. couple of years, it's frightening. Really, and it's bad. It, you know? And I think, and obviously guys, they deal with mental health and stuff a lot harder than girls because they, they don't, don't talk. talk about it. Exactly. And they're not comfortable with, they don't want to look like they're weak and anything. And I get that even though I don't really talk about issues, I do hold a lot in. Mm. Um, but it's like, it's sad because we're all human. And just because you're a man, or a female doesn't mean you haven't got the same feelings, same emotions. I think when it's harder for them, I think they get deeper thoughts than we do mm. because we talk about it and we sort of we can be emotional, we can cry, and men find that difficult. Anyway, <clears> another <throat> thing I look at is like you, know, you do well in business, um, but some of them don't really take a business approach. No, they? some of them just they get their following. They don't. Yeah, do um, I don't get it. Yeah, I know. I just we'll need more guidance than others. Yeah, definitely. And I think. A lot now comes to with where, what show you're doing. I think the production mm. plays a big part in it. I think you need to all be told this and this is what you do with your money, you know, your tax, your your VAT. You got you got to be guided and you have got to yeah. be told that like, if you want to be sensible you because you're in and you're out. Yeah. And the only people do you see that kind of get really like do really well. They're everywhere. And all of a sudden they disappear. 
Um, so it's like it depends what you want out of it and why you're getting into it. But reality is probably the hardest. So throughout throughout your career, have you seen like a lot of people suffering with mental health throughout the? No one really talks about it. Not no the one. old school ones, no. but from back when we was on it, we just no sort one of just cracked on. yeah, we just got on with it. Um, it's spoke about a lot more now, but then they do talk about it and they don't. Like look at the suicides that happened. Do they ever talk about that again? But Terry, I remember like when Terry first came out, it was a lot more fun. Nowadays, yeah. it's a bit more oh. just argument, argument, yeah, no. rah, rah, rah. Yeah, it's, it's too much. Really yeah. Aggressive. Yeah, it was a bit more of a banter, a bit more girly. Like you see yeah. us getting ready in the now shops. They don't really do that now and there. Yeah, it's true. You're just meeting yeah. in the street and having a row. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, just get out of yeah. here. Yeah, but it is difficult, and I feel like people have got to understand that reality TV, like, we're not all airheads either. Like, mm. I, I was a legal secretary before I went, went, went into Tower. Yeah. Like, I've done city stuff. Like, I've left, I went to work when I was 16. Um, and I'm independent and had my own place when I was 17, 18. Like, you know, I've grown up and I'm quite strong and independent as much as they do give me stick, they don't know me and they've never given a chance to get to know me. It's just their stories that they write. People read it. I've had loads of, you know, as you've seen, headlines about certain things and it's it's not very fair because no, the amount true. of things I have to sort of say, I didn't say it like that. Yeah, that's not that's not true. It, yeah, this is not true. And then people probably dislike me for whatever too, reason. Yeah, it's too late to say it then, isn't mm. it? Yeah. And that's it and they go with it. So that's the hard, the hard, only hard thing with it is that, again, I'm Lauren Goodger in the real world and they see something and they think, oh, She's did it, and it's like that. But I'm nothing like that. So if you could do it all again, would you do it all exactly the same? <laughs> um, there's a few things I do differently. Um, just stay money reality. side of things. Yeah, like business wise. Yeah, right? definitely, and obviously be a it's lot like more. You, said, I was, though, you don't get taught. No, no guidance. You trust so. people. You know, I've yeah, I've had I've had low situations where I've completely been robbed for certain things, um, and it's just it's just a learning thing. And I believe everything happens for a reason. So. But yeah, mm. it's definitely look, it's a learning thing. But if I was me now going to something, there would be a lot of things I would have done different. I don't regret any of it. I'm glad I've done it. But I think there's things I've done, I know now that I wish I knew then. Were there any shows that you'd like to go on in the future? Like, have you ever thought about the jungle and stuff? <clears> oh, believe her. You'd be the right. Everybody <laughs> asked me. <laughs> Everybody always Imagine says to me, I know, can you go in the jungle? I was like, I just can't do it. <laughs> Honestly, I can't. I will, I will die. <laughs> <laughs> You've been gassy on it. Brilliant. Yeah, it? brilliant. It the but they do the, it. They, yeah, they do. The, do I, it, think, yeah. I couldn't do it. I sit there at home watching it on the end, like my hands are sweating. But imagine I was there. <laughs> what, what about the beginning when you have to come off the plank? Yeah, jump yeah, off the plank on the building. Are you yeah, joking, me? No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> but so, I would be good. What was it like growing up in Essex then? What was the young Lauren like? Oh, funny, mad. Um, I don't know, it was just, I felt like there was more freedom then, like there was loads of places to go, things to do, um, it was good, I just... With the fame, is, it, is that a big difference now when you go out, people always on your pictures? Must... Yeah, I'm a bit more proud, I don't relax and enjoy myself as much, was, like even the other day, looking at you, I feel like there's a pack when I spot it a mile off, I don't know how. Yeah. It's like my brain can just sense. sense what, what looks like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, don't, I could be in a car park. There's hundred cars, all similar. Exactly and I go, there's a prep over there, and it is hard. I go on a walk, and I'm like, even my mate, like even when I've done things on live, and then she's really worried. She thinks it's her fault because then they run away with stuff I've said, and it, oh, there's a lot with it. But what did you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> what did you ask? I can't me? even remember. <laughs> what did you say? I can't remember. What I was like about. Well, the back in the day, um, I mean, um, was it fun? It was still, it was good. I think obviously now it's become so much more competition. Like, what other reality shows? I know they're a bit different from us, but you've got like um, Love, Love Island, Island yeah. Geordie Shaw. What other ones are there? Um, the Chelsea one. Ch main, main Chelsea. Chelsea. The Traveller one, that was quite fun. Yeah, like that one. but there was, there was, the, <laughs> <laughs> there was none, um, there was none about. No, it's so as much as we didn't know, they didn't know. They didn't even know it was going to work. If you look back at the old series, literally the screens are slide across now. That's how like old <laughs> fashioned it's been filmed. Would you um, ever do anything in America? Would you ever move abroad? Would you ever do any like, work abroad in the future? Mm. You don't know. I don't know. I'm quite a home person. Like I do like being at home. Um, let's maybe. It depends what it is. Maybe. Why not? Why not? Yeah. What's your future? What's you got? What visions you got for the future? Visions I've got for the future. More. I want to be more. I want to do more things in business side of things. 
I feel like I haven't finished that yet. I haven't yeah, got yeah. to where I want to be. Because um, you, you're, um, they put your cosmetic stuff's really. Yeah, my off your my train, my fake. Oh, I do aesthetics as aesthetics well. On, yeah. so that's another thing I did. Not rather than I didn't have to do that, but it's mm. a kind of train something that I really enjoy. Yeah. And even though it was quite intense, not easy to do. So I've still got that now as I can do that legally. I'm trained. That's amazing. Um, and that's something I could do in the future, like a yeah. salon type of thing, which I'd love to do. Yeah. I've had a salon before, so. Would you go for it again, do you think? Like yeah, it? definitely. Yeah, could do that in LA. Yeah, there you go. You yeah. Know, <laughs> <like that. laughs> yeah. So, um, what's, what's, what do you do in LA? What do you do to pass your time? What's your Fuck office? all. No, I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right no, I'm joking. Well, obviously it's lockdown. So I did a lot of studying for that like, aesthetic side at last lock, the first yeah, lockdown. I, yeah. um, I just kind of just getting by really. Like I've got, I'm in a relationship, so um, just yep. at home with him. Obviously you've met him and everything. Yep, lovely Charlie's over there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. so we're together all the time, which is nice. I've oh, come it's good. difficult for everyone in this lockdown thing. Yeah, but yeah. I just can't wait to get out and actually, because I'm ready to do my aesthetics. So I'm just trying to get, keep get, that in. I've got like nearly 40,000 followers on that aesthetic page wow. and I've not even started yet properly. So um, that's something that I really want to do when we're out of this lockdown, another, more than the TV side. Yeah, you want yeah. to get into your business side now. Yeah, definitely. I'm over. Not over it. Listen, I'll still do the mags and I've got some shoots lined up. I can still work with them. I've got a shoot next week because obviously it's work related. Yeah. Um, but I've still got that side of it. But I really want to get into aesthetics and the, the business side of, of things and the fake tan. Rather than. <laughs> 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 the telly's had enough of the telly bit now. Yeah, I just sometimes I think, oh, I'd rather just do only fans and aesthetics. Just, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Easy life. <laughs> Easy life. I, I'm actually quite jealous of the ones that go on Love Island or Tower No one really cares about them. They get all the followers, and no one, no one follows them around, write stories on them, no, but they, they get to just they do get posts. They, want, yeah. they get to look how they want because I'm packs them anyway. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Don't yeah. we know what they look like? Yeah. No, no. yeah. <laughs> and then. Um, yeah, and I'm, just, I'm jealous of their freedom that they have. Yeah, because they do the press do out on you, don't they? Yeah. Like, they have all the reality stars I know, they just, for some reason, you can't yeah. go anywhere. No, no. Don't come around your house. And they're always trying to do outside. something, do you over? Yeah, always. It's never Anyone just like Lauren has a lovely, yeah. nice walk out. It's always got to be something. Say, yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> Lauren looks at a dog the wrong way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it's just, I love think, are they joking? The stories that they... What was it? There was something the other day they kept repeating. I can't remember what it was. And I think, why do they keep writing all this? They bring up my past relationships every, every article. And I don't understand why. Why, yeah. Like, that really annoys me. But there's another good side that people must be interested in, you know, mm. you know they, they won't keep on. Yeah, they must, yeah. They sell papers. Obviously. Yeah, of course. So, you know, it's good that you've got that attraction. Mm. But at the same time, it's fucking drives you mad. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's what I said. There's, negative, there's, negative. There's, there's good parts with it. Everyone thinks, oh, like, these how a lot, but they don't understand what I've been through. And Do you know what, Lana? Like, people don't realise how mentally strong you are. You know, mm. like, you, you know, you, you get it all, like you said, it's constant with you. It's like, it's yeah. every day of the year, the paps are on you. And, yeah. you know, you are mentally strong because mm. these new, like, these new youngsters couldn't handle that, what you've gone no, through. Do you know what I mean? definitely not. <laughs> and do you know what I mean? And I say they're committing suicide. The, the 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 mental health. There's six million people in the UK on antidepressants at the moment, mm. and everyone's you know all they talk about at the moment is just the past, the problems, you know. COVID. The negative side, the everyone, brainwashing us. Everyone, yeah. I was terrified of this COVID. What was I like at the beginning? I remember, yeah. You walk, walk, you, Anywhere, yeah. wouldn't go near anyone. Don't touch me. I don't want gloves yeah. on my. I was like paranoid as freak. I thought yeah. I was going to die. I know. Yeah. I Listen, one time, this is mad, this is how bad it was, I went to Tesco and you know when you walk around Tesco and yeah. you open a packet of chicken, but I've got gloves on, yeah, and everything. So I've opened a packet, me and my friend, I've opened a packet of chicken. We're both eating the chicken and all of a sudden I've gone, we're using our, I've got gloves on, but I'm using the glove. I've panicked, <laughs> run to the medicine aisle. <laughs> no. Got a bottle of water, TCP. TCP water, wish wash. We've looked at each other and gone, mm. what are you doing? <laughs> we've burst into laughter. <laughs> it's gone everywhere, all over each other. We've, we've lost the plot. People walk, look, walking past me going, it is what is she doing? People. Everyone's focusing because they tell, tell you on it's COVID. Someone's yeah. Bad. I mean, I know we've got to respect it. And, of but course, I think yeah. People now are hyper focused on that. They're like placebo, yeah. This has mm. been proven for fucking years now, yeah. They can give someone, someone's got a bad back, they can give them a sugar pill and they. 
medical science yes. proved that yep. 40 percent of people 40 mm percent -hmm. that's a massive rate well their back pain will go and yes if the doctor goes that's going to get rid of it it's a muscle yeah medicine. and they'll take a sugar pill i know and it goes yeah yeah or over all different injuries like loads of different yep. body problems yeah so if 40 percent of placebo makes it's just done by belief because someone's mm. told you you know how many people out there now think if i get covid i'm going to die oh everyone and if they believe yeah. that They'll get a cold and bloody yeah. probably die. Do you know what I mean? No, of course. Gonna, the body's going to do exactly what I they know believe, people that's it had it, and God, I think I has it. Sorry, it's rubbed on my throat again. And um, I basically, the anxiety is so bad. Well, you know normally you get the flu. Yeah. You don't really get anxiety when you think, oh, I'm so the, ill. The other thing is, no one's got the flu at the minute. I've not met one person got the flu. Everyone's got COVID. Yeah. Where's so the where's the Where's it gone? I mean, I know well, they've the got rid of COVID, they've, but... Yeah, they've you know, got rid just, of it, haven't they? Everyone's um, just whacked for COVID. They've got rid of the flu now, yeah. It's the but news. Everyone's just focusing on this, on the COVID. Yeah. COVID and it's, it's, it's so scary because placebo, you know, what you think about, you become the oldest proverb of all time. Yeah. Everyone's talking about it, you know, everything we're even talking about now, we're giving it... We're giving yeah, it like, airtime. Like, it's all, all... Because yeah. we should be focusing on what yeah. we want. Instead yeah. Instead of focusing on ill health, we should be focusing on health. Yeah. Instead of focusing on dying... But again, on this country and what the media is, it's, it's even with the celebrities, negative and bad and, and dramatic cells. People want to read about someone, exactly. you know, yeah, losing all their you. money, putting on weight, anyway, having a break up. In America, they, their press is brilliant. They all talk about positive. They love their celebs. You know, if you go running yeah. in America, they're going, go on, buddy, you go, buddy. Everyone yeah. gets your strength and pushes Yeah, on. which I'd rather. Oh, fucking idiot. Yeah, she no, doing what's she this. doing? Yeah. 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 Everyone's yeah. rude. That was, that was nice. It's mad, isn't it? It's sad. The press is dreadful. It's just yeah. so negative. And I think, even when England, when the World Cup turns, come, turns up, what happens? They start finding dirt on the football players. No, no. no. players. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Like digging them out and that. It's mental. It's yeah. Like, I, I don't know. And they, I think as well, do you feel like when they're talking about mental health so much, you're not actually helping, they're making it worse. 100%. What it's you focus on, you become. If you yeah. predominantly think about COVID, you predominantly, predominantly think about illness, you predominantly think about yeah. mental illness. Yeah. You know, that's what people are going to get. And this what's under placebo effect. Yeah. And I talk about the reticular activating system. Um, if anyone ain't heard me talk about what's it. That? It's a... Group of neurons at the bottom of the brain that works for the filtering system. So, so you know you're going to go buy a oh, car. Yeah. You want to go and buy a car. Everywhere you go, you see the car you want. Yeah. yeah? So like, then you get the car and you stop seeing them. Or right, yeah. If you're pregnant, people go, everywhere you go, start noticing babies, prams. It's, that, mm. it, it's mm -hmm. like what you focus on, you become. Like when I had my, my, my boys, you know, every, like my mum's filter changed. Like she was interested in it. So she go, I, go, she go, I bumped into Julie today. Mm. Her sister's... Julie's sister's niece has had twins, must be sitting in the water. Mm. You've, been sitting on, you've all been sitting on the same chair. It's like all of a sudden, you, know, <laughs> you start noticing prams, dummies, and then yeah. breastfeeding everywhere. These women are sitting breastfeeding. It's when my, every time I had a kid, everywhere I went, there was someone breastfeeding. Just fucking, I go, ugh. And the more yeah. I didn't want to see it, the more I see them. But now yeah. I haven't seen on breastfeed for years. Yeah. Because I don't see, like, you drive past the cafe, I've noticed all the mums outside. I don't see them anymore because my focus has changed. That's the RS system. So it's what you focus on, you become. So it's, it's medical science. I discovered about, Eight years ago, it was. Mm. So if you keep talking about anxiety, you're gonna your your brain's, oh, brain's going to start looking for evidence that you have anxiety. Yeah, definitely. So someone look, someone's looking at a car across the road. You're thinking mm. they're looking at you, and you and you look bad or something like that. You know, mm. it, just, it it translates the information that your brain's taking to match your filter. So yeah, of course. If you focus on what you want, you're going to start noticing better things. Yeah, no, definitely. You know I mean? pro pro it's a positive thing, which is so hard to do. You know, you can sell this, but other people really thing, struggle yeah. it with, because I think, right, positive days, I am quite a positive person, I yeah, don't know how. It's positive. I don't believe in positivity is necessarily a good thing, because you could, I could go to you, you know what, Lauren, I'm going to fail my exam, and you go, mm. well, be more positive, and I go, I'm positive I'm going to fail my exam, mm. do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, mm. what's good about that then, if I'm positive yeah, I'm no, going to fail, do you know what I mean? So, it ain't about positivity and negativity, it's about focusing on what you want. I keep saying yeah. that people because you can be positive if you're going to fail at something as well as you can be positive if you're going to do something good. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, so you've yeah. Got to, you've got to focus on, you know, what you want more than positivity. Then you've got to know what you want. This is what and people struggle with. not this everybody is, does. They're like, well, what do this, I want? This is exactly what people struggle with. Yeah. Most people go to therapy because they don't know what the fuck they want in life. Mm. They've got a nine to five job. They, you know, the, 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 on paper, everything's fine. They've got the ass, they've got the kids, they've got a nice job, they've got a car mm. and they're paying their taxes and everything's fine. Mm. But they're not happy. Yeah, they haven't got a goal. It doesn't mean it needs to be a business. It could be, mm. a, it could be playing golf. It could be, but everyone needs something that's going to yeah. give them that driver. Because people go to me as well. And if I've got a pound every time, one of my clients says, "I just want to be happy." Yeah, so it's funny real. that you say this, right? Because I mean, 
Let me tell you. So in um, I'd done a fitness DVD. Yeah, yeah. And it was the most hardest, <laughs> worst time of my life. <laughs> yeah, like I thought, but I thought, do I? Oh, I swear, do That's I miss right. it? As much as I hated it, yeah, didn't have a life like to think, right, it's about you. I did it and I done it. And as much as it weren't easy, but I knew I, I had something that I was doing, I had a goal. Yeah, yeah? It kept you moving. I had that that DVD to film at the end yeah. of it. When I come out of it and I, it was all mess and whatever, I, I felt lost. It took me two yeah. years mentally to get over it. Yeah. Because you haven't got another goal to go I didn't know what I wanted to do and I thought it was how hard it was and how I didn't earn money because I couldn't work. See, I think this is hard for reality stars, a lot of the new reality stars especially, mm. because what happens to a lot of reality stars is they their agent gives them the work, yeah, yeah. As, as you well know. So mm. they don't have goals for themselves. No, I get told what to do. What I don't do. enjoy it anymore. No. I don't, photo shoots, I hate. So what I've done it for is, 11 years. Like you, They bore the life out of me and I just don't enjoy it. Don't, I don't like what they say. I don't like how I look. I don't like... Anything, I'd rather, <laughs> I don't enjoy it, but I do it because the only thing I've known since I was 16 is to have money. Yeah. That's the only thing I've ever known. That is, as much as I do things I don't want to do, I have to have that security. Because of my yeah. upbringing and being thrown out left, right and centre all the time, I needed money to survive mm. and it was a terrifying thing for me. So I had to rent a flat and, you know, and, and work and whatever. And I, I had three jobs at one point, do you know what I mean? Because I wanted to go my way, I wanted mm. nice things. and But I come from... My dad's um, comfortable and, and quite strict and got a nice house and my mum hasn't got anything. Yeah. So I'm a weird... You, you're in, best, you're in I, both I, I can I can go with both. Yeah. Um, but I learned a lot through going through that. And obviously I come into Tawi, but it's like I was quite strong and independent from a young age anyway, yeah. which is maybe why, not that I can deal with it, because there's a lot of times where I can't deal with it mentally, because... I'm still human, yeah. but I so I probably got through a lot of things that I have got through and the bad shit, yeah. you know, yeah. because I feel like well I've I've kind of been through a lot emotionally anyway growing up. Yeah. So, so but I feel like it, you, so in some way it, mm, it prepped you for your for my future. Life, really. And I do believe a lot of times it's so weird things do happen to me, and I know they're going to happen. So you see them in your mind. Like, I know certain things. I know, like, my life and how it is. And I look back and think, Buzzy, why did I do that? And But it's like everything happens to me when it's meant to happen sometimes. And as hard right. as it is at the time... It was for a good reason. Yeah. It, it, and then I get through it and it learns. Like, I've gone through certain things and I think, oh, why am I in a situation? But I think it's changed when you learn out of it. Yeah. And as long as you learn out of things, yeah, it doesn't that's matter. Yeah, so good. That's so good. You know? Yeah. So... <laughs> no, it's good. Like, yeah. I like that. And it's like, you know, like you thought about... Um, People being happy, like my clients, I said to you, they go, I want to be happy. Mm. Happiness comes from moving towards a goal. It's like yeah. you said, when you've got that goal and you're yeah. moving towards it, it's why a lot of millionaires get depressed because they've oh, their life to get there. And once they get yeah. the millions of pounds, they yeah. get a Ferrari. They don't, Boring. They, don't, they live in the here what and there. They start partying, taking drugs. Yeah, trials, exactly. A woman catches them cheating. A lot of people go off the rails, they, especially they, from they my lot. Moment. Exactly. And like you, I could see level. it and I've been around it and I could easily have slipped one way or the other, mm. yeah? But I never did. I never slept around. I never yeah. took loads of drugs. I never, as much as I could have, and I was around yeah. it and the attention and whatever, I kind of always, that, so nah. Clever, yeah. Because I think what happened to me growing up before, I yeah. learned young. Yeah. Do you know what you I mean? See, you've seen so, it. So, but I've seen it. it and do you know what I mean? some, some of the girls that didn't get into a relationship, whatever, and settle down, they do go off the rails a little bit. Mm. And especially the guys, that I'm not going to say any names, but it's happened, you know? And mm. some of them that have done really well and settled, yeah. I know they're not happy. Yeah. They're really not happy, but it looks good on it the outside. Good, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So. So, the moral of the story is then, get yourself some fucking goals. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, but it is goals. hard. What, again, As what you is said, your goal? Like what the, do you I want? I like you saying that as it goes. That's, it's so good you address that because mm. this is, I swear to God, most people don't realise why they're unhappy because they ain't got no goals. What, what do you want to do? People, like, it doesn't yeah. have to be a big business. It could be anything. It could be holiday. Like, mm. You've always got something to get out and go work for, like what pulls you to work. Otherwise, why do you want to go work if you ain't got yeah. a goal? And a lot of people do. They just go work to pay the bills and mm. they've got nothing for them to pull them to. Yeah. And as you yeah. said, you've got, I think you've got to sit down sometimes and write down a year's goals. Like, what, what could you want from this year? But it's hard, you, because it what is. does, especially someone like in my position, I don't want to go on a day and board with that. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. but <laughs> what does, I get anxiety about that now anyway. That's thing. a new the thing. The more things you do in life, the less things. Like, like what do you want to, like, what do you want to do? Like, to like, Richard Branson, yeah? He's mm. got an island, he owns an island. He's yeah. a fucking billionaire since he was in his 20s. Um, 
he don't need to work, but he yeah. keeps creating. So he's done. Right. The, he created the planes. He created mm. the trains. And now he's created a plane to go out into space because he's done everything on the planet. So now he's created a, a plane that goes out into space yeah. and in Australia in an hour. Yeah. But everybody looks at him and goes, oh, I wish I had his life and his money. Yeah. But, but would you? Would you really? Because I don't know. I would. Know. I would. <laughs> 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 it might be the penny behind him. Ever really? Yeah, yeah, but no. it's all about I, money, I, isn't I, it? I, I, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. It ain't all about money, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It looks like it's all about money, but the geezer's always creating something. He's always got a goal. Yeah. So that's why he's like in his 70s. But he's, he's also he's, got a he's team. Everything. He's also got people. He's, got, he's yeah, not, he's you done. know. But, but yeah, it is hard. And I, that's probably why as much as I did the aesthetics, you know, I went to that, did the college stuff and everything. Yeah. I loved it. I felt like a normal yeah. girl. I was like, oh, I'm normal. Yeah, to... And then I worked in a salon and it was so nice to just, it reminded of being young. But don't you like, put the needles in or the lips, don't they make you... I no, watch someone do me. it and I go, oh, funny. Really? No, no I love it. I'm fine with it, yeah. Love it. Because it is sculpting, it's clever. <laughs> I, I see yeah. it and it is clever. And that's the thing that's getting at people like, oh, Botox and fillers, like, it ain't all bad, no. you know? It's not as bad, all right, okay, it's not like, oh my God, I have it, it's amazing, it but it's, it's nothing in that product that's going to harm you. Yeah. Botox can't do anything wrong to you. I could inject all over your face. You'd look a mess, but you're not... <laughs> <laughs> but nothing's going to happen to you. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? You can't do anything. What goes into the muscle and it stays there. Yeah. Filler is a hydratic acid. It is natural substance, what we have in our body. Oh, okay. So we've all got it. But as age, we lose it. It's very water-based. Oh. So basically, when you put a filler in, it attracts water. That's what makes your lips swell. Oh, so the more it? water you drink, the bigger your lips. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. So there's loads with it. This is what I want to... Yeah, look, this is why I drink all this every day. No, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, obviously, no, it's, it's not... It filler is a filler. Like, it's yeah, not just... Yeah, but yeah, there's so much with it. And I feel like when they... I'm not going to go into the subjects, but recently what they've said, I thought you ain't got a clue what you're talking about. I do. Yeah. And it's a completely different thing. Yeah, yeah. And where I inject will stay in that position. It don't run around your, your body. body. Yeah. But then people go out, drink, smoke, do drugs. So yeah. well, it's, it's that's right, poison. Everyone's got an opinion, haven't they? You know, mm. I think like if it makes people happy, you know, like women have boob jobs and they, they get confident, you know? Yeah. Women have filler. Yeah. And it makes them feel but good. it's about so enhancing. Like, you know? like back in the day, it weren't such a big thing. So people did look terrible with it because, but yeah, we've come they, so yeah, far they they doing, and there's probably, different yeah. techniques now and it's way to look and yeah. to do it naturally and, you know, and still just make yourself look younger. Why not? Yeah, I can make you look, I see you light up when you talk about it. You love it, didn't you? Yeah. yeah so you definitely got to get your own thing and be successful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I know. Just, see the difference on top of it. If you've got a passion for something, someone mm. lights up. Yeah. It's not like you're going to work, is it? It's like you're yeah. doing something you love. It's, I'm uh, bored. And the, the difference when I talk about bad press and perhaps, and yeah, man, I'm so bored, bored of it. Bored of it all. I spoke about it for over 10 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. honestly, it's just, but then when I talk about something new, and I don't know, maybe I would love to do fitness stuff again and all that, because that makes me happy. Yeah. That was a goal that I felt amazing, and I do used to, I used to love it, but I just haven't done anything for a long but time. Again, it comes to that goal setting. You had a goal to do it. It's like mm. me. If I go, to, if I put myself in a marathon, mm. I go out running eight miles a day. Yeah. Once the marathon's finished, I yeah. Can't be fucked. Yeah. So what yeah. Up, go eight miles One extreme, the other. I'm no, like that. I've got no reason to go for a run. Yeah. But some people can just do it. Do you know what I mean? If, yeah, I, but if so, I put myself uh, into half a marathon, I go out every day. Yeah. Because like, you know you're doing something. Do yeah. yeah. Some people can just go and train, and I can't do that. I need to be in my. I have to get ready. I've got to put the outfit on. I've got to like, right, I'm going. And like, I'm really getting really the good. mindset right, yeah. and do it. But once I'm out of it, I'm out of it. If I'm in it, I'm in it. If I'm out, I'm out. I'm yeah. one extreme or the other. Yeah, it's like me. I'm like... But maybe that's next year goals. But obviously lockdown again stops you. From, it takes so much away from you. So your goals, I mean, you, you forget health, about them. People's minds at the minute, it's, it's, it's shocking. Mm. You're the, the original, weren't you? Mm. you? Who was in the original? So, out of all the girls, it was you, Amy Charles, was doing it, was she? Uh, me, Amy Charles, Sam Fares. Um, right. That was it. Out of the girls. Then that you were, the oh, then. Was Gemma not at the beginning? No. Oh. Or Joey Essex, they coming after. I remember when Joey first started. Was started by that. Who was the guy after the. Brian Bello. Yeah, he started. He got a million quid for it. Yeah, he got paid off. His idea, yeah. yeah, because it was true. We did contact us on Facebook and say, I want to do a show, like The Hills. Do you yeah. remember The Hills? Yeah, the Hills, yeah, yeah, the American. Um, yeah. And yeah, then Essex was going to do a documentary and then we sort of said, make it like The Hills. Like, we was very, very involved at the beginning. Sure. We used to give them, like, right, it's how you got to film it, it's what you got to do. Like, we helped with the production. They didn't, they didn't make it, we made it. 
Tower was much better than it. it was more fun. There's always something going on. Yeah, because it was place. real. We did go we to these places. In. We did row like that. We did it. We, it was more so much more innocent yeah. and genuine. Now you've got these 19 year olds. They've had so much work done. Yeah. We did it. We come on, did our own makeup. They've yeah. got hair, makeup, stylists, extensions. We went on real, no extensions, oh, wow. no nothing. It was what That's it was. Really? Yeah, which mm. is you done it all yourself. Yeah, then? we done our own makeup, yeah, everything. Right. So it's proper basic. Basic. Even the adverts, we did our own makeup and took our own clothes. They didn't supply anything. Wow. So, and yeah. Never got paid either. Never got paid, no. £50 a day. Yeah, nothing. Like that. <laughs> yeah, they don't get that much, no. Yeah, but they get off on the. Um, I think but I think on the, the women must do better because of the post. Yeah. Obviously. Men don't. Well, it's funny, men no, don't. Get no, no. Like I think they're they they better for the men now that they can do like the body stuff, protein stuff. Got that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Told you. Um, <laughs> women clear up with a pretty little thing to turn out. Yeah, that sort of like stuff. paid price. Like, like, yeah. yeah, but it used to be we used to make money out of PAs. Of course, yeah. So yeah, we, they don't do it. them, but that's yeah. where we made our money because yeah. Instagram went about when I first started. Um, to the PA scene, it really just went, didn't it? it just... Yeah, we used to go, oh, God, I hate it. But I mean, who would you do a night? Could... Sometimes two or three, depends how near you they were. Club club. Yeah, it was always me and Arj. <laughs> Always me and I, could have, he, never, he never drove and I used to drive. Like, oh. so I, I remember driving to Hull or somewhere mad, but I would never stay in the hotel and I didn't drink. Yeah? Do you know how like, they go to these PAs? So you drive on? I drive, I want to get home. So, uh, not many people get PAs no more, do they? Sort they don't do it. No, they don't book them. Yeah. I think you get, I've had odd ones, like now and again, like beauty signs, like, but not like the club not ones. The club and they used to stand there like this, and then you just have queues yeah, of people. Wait, wait. So can I have a photo? And <laughs> it's just, <laughs> I'm sure there's some things on, on YouTube, but it must have been mad for them because it was, we won a BAFTA for the first series. It was such a hit. We used to get millions of views. So I feel like for these people meeting us in the clubs, it must be surreal. Cause it's yeah. not, but now it's like there's so many reality stars. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, I don't even know half of them. So do you miss them days for the TV? I do, side yeah, because again, I liked earning the money. I liked the whole side of it, the work side. I, mean, I, I spent, I think, every month like in Scotland doing beauty shows and always flying to Scotland. And I remember going to sure. my Bayer, yeah, always up there doing beauty shows and that and working. And I was so busy, so, so busy. Because I remember when I first moved to Essex, they were still doing towie tours. I don't know if they still do it anymore. Yeah, they sugar, they I think they buses, do. Yeah. Of people that come <laughs> they go to Brentwoods. They yeah. do go around Loughton. They went to my salon, yep. Lydia's shop at the time uh, in Loughton. I don't know if anyone else was there. I can't remember. It was me, Buck of Steel, Lydia Loughton, and then everyone else was in Brentwoods. But even people that didn't live in Brentwoods, like Joey Essex is Chigwell, yeah. he had a shop in Brentwoods because that yes, was where all the exactly, tower exactly, stuff was going it, on. Yeah. But I never really go to Brentwood. Like, no. It was just where it was filmed. <laughs> but yeah. So what would you um, advise any young girls out there at the moment? Any advice you'd give them on them, <laughs> if they were getting into the reality game? Any advice you'd give any new yeah, people wanting to get into it? I think just really know what you're doing and what you want to do. Think Don't just go it. into something and think, oh, yeah, this is good. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to get Instagram posts and all that. Just have a goal with it, like you mm. say. Have, Got um, to go after. have a target yeah. with your money. Put it into something. Do what you're meant to do, like you take 20% out of it, like, do you know what I mean? You do it properly, it's yeah. something that we was never taught, yeah? yeah. Take your take care, put your Exactly, away. Yeah. Get, do, have another bank account, that, right, that's not mine, that's for that, like, whatever, and then work out what you've got. Get into property, because I really, really regret not buying my first place. Mm. Now, it's in Chigwell, and I feel like the money it was then, compared to what it is now, yeah, I regret it. it. Yeah, you'd have made a and I think that's such, everyone's held it at the time, but I was like, yeah, yeah, I will, but I thought then, now nah, I'm grabbing this forever. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And even though, yes, I do, I am still very current, it's the money, I was getting 25 grand a photo shoot. Wow. Yeah, and they just, that just does not exist anymore. anymore no. You know, so. It's mad, isn't it? Mm. 25 grand a photo shoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, that was only for bigger things. That's why I did yeah. OK Mag, like the cover. Um, what was it like first time you went on a cave mag, like coming from like Essex, being just a, a local girl to work in the yeah. city, to like boom, all of a sudden you're on the front cover of... Um, I don't know. Do you know your was, first time? Do you know it's weird? No, I don't. I think I, I was on that uh, buzz mag that come the sun. I don't yeah, know if yeah, you remember, remember it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and some of them really, some of them I absolutely hated. I remember doing fabulous mag and all that, but I hated the picture. Some of them I loved it, but I just, it was just... And it, I just got so used to it. It was like I'd always done it. Yeah. I didn't really know any different. But then when it kind of 
doing what I'm doing and you have a little bit of a break and I start doing normal things, you're like, oh, I miss that. Do you know what I mean? What would you, uh, yeah. what do you, how do you keep yourself, your mental health in a good state now? How do you, how do you cope? I don't. You know? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just feel like, oh, everything's going to go where it's meant to go. Like, there's good things, like, do you know, my life ain't started, but it has, obviously, but obviously when... I and have you, a baby. You're a lot calmer now, aren't you? Like, you're Do calm. you think? Yeah. I'm just tired. It's a lot, <laughs> not today, I mean, overall, <laughs> no. like, for when I first met you. Yeah. Like, you think? Yeah. But in what way? Like, it's a bit more calmer in yourself, a bit more. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You're, a lot more, you're a little bit anxious back. Mm. You know, there's some anxiety. I still am. Um, I still got a lot on, like, behind closed doors, a lot of stuff yeah. to sort out and whatever. But it's like, oh, just have to, I don't know. I don't really know how I deal with it. I think I'm quite... As long as I'm a good person, that yeah. sounds really cliche, no, no, and I'm no. I'm I'm pure and I'm real, and my Jeez, yeah, and everything yeah. I know that look God <laughs> and the universe is looking and saying she's she's real. She, don't, she ain't hurting no one. She's not lying. She's not sneaky. Yeah. I know I'll get what I want. Yeah. Because I'm I'm genuine. Yeah. And I think that is what you've got to be. Don't just be this fake, horrible, snidey, like cheating, liars, all that. You're never you're never gonna win, True. ever. So. So that keeps you in. Yeah, that keeps my thing. As long as I'm true, then as much as things are hard and I might go through shit and I might look bad at times. But you know you're real. I know I'm a real. I'm a real to me. Yeah. There's nothing. Person, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a kid. In, I know people that live in a fake. They're, everything they post is not real. They look. Like they're yeah. they're smashing it, and I know they're not. And I feel like, how can you live like that? Because yeah. that's not that's not real. Yeah. So that you're lying to yourself. Up later, doesn't it? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hun you mentally, hundred percent. Deal with it sooner or later. Exactly. Not. So I act like I'm so normal. I live as so normal as much as I yeah. can, and I feel like then anything else is a bonus, and and, and look at it as a positive. Does that make sense? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for your time, my thank lovely. You. Good to see you again yeah. as usual. So <laughs> thank you, everyone, and we'll see you next week on the Mind Quiet podcast. See you soon.